Tao Ren's character arc reaches its climax as he faces his father Tao and and discovers the secret behind this appearance, which honestly did not feel like a climax at all. I don't like opening up with a downer, but goddamn, the episode was just mediocre this week. If anything, last week's character moments easily outshine what we had in this episode. But yeah, I'll talk about the build-up and payoff issues of the Shaman King remake again in GamerTurk's Onsen, and I don't know, maybe Wal will provide a different perspective, he's back this week, and I sure hope he actually does bring a different perspective, because at this point, this remake either cannot build up to its supposed payoff moments, or can only build up but cannot pay it off on a consistent basis in my opinion, which is starting to get really frustrating. Hey there Wal, what do you think? Hello Khan, hello everyone, glad to be back. Um, I don't know if it, it is the different perspective, but yeah, I can certainly see that this pacing, or maybe as you said, consistency in, different, in pacing can be a little bit annoying, but well, let's see and maybe we'll have some kind of conclusion at the end of this video, when we, we will go uh, details by t t details with each scene. I, I just, I, I'm generally starting to run out of things to say, because it's always the same issue, over and over, like, Faust, yeah, that was a completely butchered episode, I don't want to speak about that, but other episodes like Ren and Yo's first meeting that basically had zero build-up at all to what happens at the end, whereas something like this, you know, it has a payoff at the end, but it doesn't feel like it's building up to that payoff. Like, Tao and reveals and all that kind of stuff, those are all huge reveals for the series, Ren coming to finally defy his father, that's a huge character moment for him. But the entire 15 minutes that gets us there, it just feels so incredibly lackluster for me. Yeah, I can certainly uh, see uh, what you mean, to be honest with you. I also felt that some um, some scenes needed a bit more focus, a bit more maybe drama, and in the end we've got where sometimes uh, a bit of underwhelming feeling, so yeah, I can totally agree with you. Exactly, like, generally, wh when you grow up and look back at Sean and series, you always laugh, ha ha ha, they're just yelling and constantly speaking source to no end. Whereas in this remake, I feel like it's the entire opposite, nobody's swinging any source, this is not how a shonen show should be. Yes, well, since we are speaking about this episode, the way I feel it is that for some reason, I don't know who it is who that, who that decided it, but well, they decided that they want to put more focus on, on character development, on the entire backstory of, of Rance, and okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. But yeah, that's said, perfect. It's a, it, yes, it is a shonen series, and, and why these backstories are okay, the core enjoyment should come from actually from, from, from fights, from action, and it shouldn't be completely overshadowed by, by the backstory, by, by emotions, which again are fine, but still um, the balance was completely off for me. Well, there is no balance in the first place because, as I said, the whole backstory emotional completely overshadowed the, those action scenes. Speaking of that, I, I don't even think the emotional points even landed in this episode. It was just... Uh, people saying things and the, the, the things happening around that emotional focus was so lackluster that there was nothing for me, but I guess it's gonna be better once we go one by one. Starting with the dramatic reveal of Ryu being within the grasp of this final... what were they called? The, the five corpses, the cursed... I, d I don't know, I, 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 I call him a Red Power Ranger, but you can call him whatever you want. Yeah, like, even that dramatic reveal, for some reason, it did not feel dramatic at all. I, I don't know what is wrong, but I, I have to say, I don't like the animation for the past two episodes either. But yeah, well, yeah. As, uh, I agree with you, while the, the, the scene was there, because you know how the Red Power Ranger, I will call it him like that, sorry, yeah, yeah, was holding fine. real. But again, there was something missing, like, I, I didn't feel anything, and the drama, uh, and, and, so it's, it, and so on, it was so shallow for me, that it, it just was there, like, one shot, and then we go... Exactly, you know, exactly, out. that's exactly what I feel. Like, you say shallow, that perfectly describes the situation, like, they are trying to set this guy up as the all-powerful of the uh, Power Rangers squad that Tao N has, and then all we see is not even nicely drawn dramatic shot of Ryu being strangled and 
two hits, one to Ren, one to Yo, everyone's destroyed. I'm like, yeah, but what the fuck just happened? What, what's yeah, the power also of this guy? There, there is no... There's no substance to his strength. We just see one yeah, shot, so was... and oh my god, he's the most yeah. powerful thing ever. And then what happens? Pyron comes in. Oh, he now beats him in one shot in return. Like, yeah, what is that? What's happening? Why is everything happening this way? To add something, uh, the whole let's call it uh, a part of this episode, including this Red Power Rangers, was very inconsistent for me because first we've got this, as we already told, a shallow shot uh, when Ryu was being called. Held. Then we got Horo Horo, who actually for me it was really strange because the way it was he was shown, uh, it was more like he was tired or something like that. It, I didn't get any feeling of being completely be beaten up from Horo Horo. And then, Wait, did said, they even show Horo Horo in this scene? Yes, yes, it was like two or three seconds that he was like. Oh, um, that's why I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was like beside the, the wall, but again, he was breathing very hard, but I got the feeling of being very, very exhausted, tired, not of being completely obliterated by, 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 by his opponent. And then, uh, after the Red Power Ranger dude, you know, pretty much one hit or almost one hit of uh, Yo and Ren, then Li Pai Long uh, appeared, and who actually, well, at, at, for me, it was completely out of place that he was uh, rivaling or matching. This, this well, we can, we can already say that it is his, uh, it was his master, and then he was just defeated without an essence, I would say. Yeah. Uh, two things I will mention here that I like. Uh, one, Manta hiding behind the fucking vase. Th that's a nice shot. That's one way to yes, yes. keep him out of the picture. And of course, we, we complained about it last week as well, but the only reason he's here is to spout two lines of exposition, that it is Lee Pyron's master and nothing else. Uh, yeah. What, I, yeah, what I actually would like to also add, well, uh, it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't want to talk about that, is June's character, because we got so have some of her showing her resolve, mm -hmm. uh, that she also changed her view. Uh, uh, well, it is also going to to be mentioned later in the episode uh, uh, during the fight of the final boss. <laughs> but yeah, here we've got also some um, something that's showing us that yes, yeah, she also changed her views. She's she like like her brother and, and you know stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And again, Pyron's coming back. That was the second thing I wanted to mention. That was teased in the previous episode as well. June was basically stitching all the parts yes, of Pyron yes. back in the dungeon. Uh, so that's that was a nice flash forward, I say. Is it a flash forward? I don't know. That's probably the exact word. I, I also want to say I think June just looks better with her hair down. She should not yeah, tie yeah, her that, hair that, up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, since we're in agreement, I feel like it's time to move on. I was lackluster scene where one hit chaos happening all around without any build up. And then we move over to the actual reveal. Tao An is right there. And, and from the first moment we see him, from the final moment we see him at the end of the episode, I, I just get the feeling that the animators have no clue how to draw this guy at all. Yeah, it's like they were torn between how serious actually should be uh, drawn or what, how much of the comedy should actually this character provide as well. And exactly, of, they're, they're stuck in some, between. Some, some, you know, golden... Uh, so some some uh, some balance between that they just w went for one thing and then a moment ago without any any logical connection they went for another thing and it only brought a confusion i mean that is kind of his character as well he switches back and forth between like uh playing down his opponents in funny ways but the way they draw him, I, I don't even want to say animate him because again, there's not much animation going on. It's so many still frames of, you know, just jiggling back and forth, not exactly animating. But even in the first shot he's shown, he has such a weird figure. It's not the kind of weird that intimidates you, it's just the drawing that's weird. I don't understand. Even his real human body doesn't seem to be properly drawn. There's something absolutely wrong with his face, and I have no idea why. It's just yeah. Oh, I also, th this talk I also, is becoming fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also when the when the real form or the real body of of Ren's father was shown, I also kind of uh, maybe not confused, disappointed, something like that. Because I imagine some maybe not imagine, but I remember that he was drawn or maybe shown. 
a little bit in a different way in the old adaptation and here again i didn't get this menacing feeling from from it exactly yes that is correct and another thing uh, which was something i mentioned at the beginning you know there not being either any build up to a payoff or there being a build up and no payoff in this case it was the uh, former there was a payoff you know ran getting up and saying oh they're my friends and i don't know why but i would have done the same for them as well but the thing is we we don't see the friends doing anything everybody's just getting one hit ko'd and suddenly the other one's getting one hit KO'd. like there, there's no fight happening you, you you know what i mean like there's no yes, middle the, ground there's no equilibrium any anywhere where these yes, people are like, clashing yes well uh, the way i see it is like you know there was the beginning of the fight and as you said, everyone was being obliterated with one hit, but it was shown very fast. Then we've got the conclusion. But during this conclusion, Ren was talking about, you know, power of friends and some things like that. But the, the thing is that we didn't see anything of this during the fight because the friends were, let's call it, pretty much useless during the fight. <laughs> exactly, like even Yo was completely useless. Except for the one time where he blocked the yeah, shot, I yeah. believe. But, but like, come on, man. I, I don't know, maybe it's just nostalgia playing me, but in the original anime, they tried a bunch of things to get to him, to, to uncover his secret, like, uh, right? Yes, and, I'm yes, not imagining. and there, was, uh, there was much more build up, and actually each of character um, during this, 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 uh, this arc uh, ha had it, let's say, a, a couple of its own moments, but here it's like, like that ever, everything was just flushed out. Exactly. Like, they were trying to figure out what this guy was, where his power comes from, and it, 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 in this one, sure, it may be perfectly adapting the manga, but again, that, that doesn't say much when the manga doesn't have a lot of context and relies on, you know, a lot more user-reader pacing, whereas the anime has to pace its stuff on its own because it's a visual medium. It's just, what is the secret of this guy? Oh, he just took away his rope and he has tons of spirit shields that's his power good glad i asked so the guy answered immediately don't yeah, do I, that also, I, 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 yes i don't know whether it is a uh, may not fault but i could just call it stick of of shonen or maybe it is me just getting uh too old for this stuff but it was kind of weird to see that the moment uh, and revealed his true form he, he felt less powerful than he was actually using uh, his oversoul for to maintain his big body. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. I, I, the punch going through Ren. That, that was weird yeah. for me in the original anime adaptation as well, if I remember correctly. That didn't make much sense. You know, you, oh, your resolve has wavered, so you can't even touch me right now. I mean, he well, I could have understand. missed or could have been an easy dodge for Ren, but just the entire yeah. thing going through Ren. Nah, I'm, I'm not buying that. Yeah, so I will just stand still and have have stronger co uh, determination and actually I'm winning with that. Sorry, but I'm not buying it. Like, uh, there was a point in the original anime, much later into the anime, I believe it was the anime original content as well, so I don't think this will be spoiling stuff. But there was a moment where Yo and Ren were fighting, uh, just outside of the tournament fighting because uh, Ren was pissed off and stuff. But it came to a certain point where Yo was like, I don't even need my oversoul to defeat you because you're so raged, you're not seeing things clearly. And what he did was, he didn't stand still to be impaled. He, he went into the unity form and while Ren was completely outraged, he was just dodging everything very calmly with his unity form. And that was, that was perfect. You know, something like that could work in this instance. Don't, don't make... The, don't make him just stand still and let the Oversoul go through, that's... Nobody's gonna buy that, even with a shonen show. Just make him do an effortless dodge. That is all uh, Yes, I completely agree with you uh, about that. And also, what felt a little bit out of place for me was how two characters were, were the mother of, of, of Ren and June and also the, the grandfather, because if I remember correctly, the adaptation there was a little bit more in that. And actually there was some kind of um, argument between June and her mother uh, and, and actually they were at the beginning a little bit more hostile but here they just showed up and you know parties over and let's just, let just we eat something and, and, yeah, and then it's they, just bringing and, and a gun to a shaman, a shaman fight <laughs> yeah 
uh, that wouldn't have happened in the original anime with four kids. Yep. But, but yeah, I, I don't even know sometimes what to even talk about because it, it's generally, it just feels so broken, so incoherent that I just don't have much to say aside from, hey, that, that kind of feels bad. Yes, well, the way I feel it is that the creators of new adaptation at the beginning wanted to expire, uh, to, to check uh, what should be the pacing, how much they should focus on what stuff. Uh, but in my opinion, well, at the be- well at the beginning, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I may be fine with that, but we'll or, or will already t- in the 12th episode of the series, and by this time I thought that they would already figure it out. But right now, as we can see, there's they're actually um, they, they are not closer to 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 giving us this most more more coherent uh, form of this anime because. While I am very happy that they they spared two episodes for 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 Ren's backstory uh, because I believe his character deserved that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but this, uh, this 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 things we find in each episode is just making me uh, a little bit sad that we're not having an adaptation that we actually should be should have and would would give us a, a full enjoyment. Yeah, and I I don't think it's the curse of having watched the original anime where we had tons more scenes with this char- with these characters because you know some of the many of the things we mention are inherent problems of this specific anime adaptation like a fight starting and beginning in about thirty seconds with single shots that's a problem that's not a comparison to the original anime that's a problem yeah. in and of itself yeah it's like. The authors want to, at one point, they want to pack as much as possible in the, in the episode, and at other point, they want to focus on stuff. But the the, 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 the decision to on what to focus sometimes is correct, and sometimes is completely out of place. Yeah. So it's really, it's really, it really can confuse uh, the watchers, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just realized something. I'm looking at the final scene and the big snake of Tao N. They they decided to scale some uh, put like you know snake scales on some parts of it, whereas other parts of it is completely glossy, shiny, as if they couldn't finish putting the scales. It's cut off yeah. at such weird points as well. That's <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, but but I don't think they have like production issues per se. It's just terrible amount of episodes that they're provided that they can't do much with. But again, I was expecting some action this week after last week being a non-action episode and I didn't get it. That was extremely underwhelming for me. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I am kind of disappointed that uh, at the beginning we've got a really great build-up for entire uh, Ren's backstory. Because in my opinion, for from what we have seen so far, Ren's character was be, is being shown Mm, how to say it? Maybe not in the best way from others' characters, but uh, with, with the greatest depth and actually, and uh, and his backstory is is really the most entertaining for me for now. But yeah, we'll probably see other characters in the future as well. Uh, but yeah, but when actually it should it should be more focused on on action and 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 maybe and, and drama and uh, and some mix of that. Uh, we actually were given. A bit of uh, underwhelming experience. It, it just needs to find a certain balance that it hasn't achieved so far. It, they managed to do it in two, three episodes. Tokagero episode for one, uh, Yo versus uh, Ran episode one. But I don't know, it's just not consistent at all, and it's more misses than hits in my opinion. Yeah, so f- so far what from what we have seen, I agree with you. Is there anything that you are looking forward to at the moment, given what we have seen of the anime? Because I, I think it's a problem that I am looking forward to the second ending that's going to be sung by the voice actor of uh, Iron Maiden, Jean. You sent that to me, if I remember correctly. Then anything that's going to yeah. happen in the anime itself. Yeah, well, uh, th- there are some. Of course, there are some parts that I'm looking forward to, but. I don't know how much we can actually talk about this because yeah, yeah be don't go spoiler. into it. Like it's, it was just a general question. <laughs> yeah, so there are there are characters that well maybe were shown or mentioned or hinted to appear that I'm actually looking forward to because I really like the role in the story and or backstory. Uh, so yeah, let's hope that at least those 
character. Oh, how did I forget? Be... I'm still looking forward to Osores and Revoir, yeah. Let, let's not have that <laughs> cut out, shall we? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, next episode we are officially meeting Hao based on the title we had. Title is, of course, Soshte Hao and Hao in English. Yeah, so we'll be showing a little bit of more of, of the main plot. Of the, of the yeah, the, the main story. tournament portion starting, let's say, you're finding the Dobby village. Wait, yeah. is it, was it ever Patch Village in the English dub? Wasn't it always Dobby Village? I thought Dobby Village just the, uh, is just the dub version of it. It was always Dobby Village for me, it was never the Patch Village. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I think we covered everything, you know, it's just... Lackluster. I don't like speaking over things that are lackluster. It's easy to complain, but it, there isn't much substance. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's always not, not 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 a happy thing to to have certain expectations to an episode that you know should be should be a climax of something with a lot of actions and a little bit of emotional drama, but instead you you have a feeling of underwhelmment uh, uh, after everything. Yeah. So yeah. So I would say that would be the final and general opinion about this episode for mm. me. Well, let's see if how will heat things up in future episodes. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's gonna be it from this week, uh, unless you have anything to add. No, no, I have. Uh, I pretty much uh, said everything I wanted to. Then we'll see you all next week when how properly makes his grand entrance and starts... Uh, I. I, I can't repeat the same joke. He just, he's gonna start heating things up. Wink, wink, yeah. Okay, see you all next week. Stay cool until then. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.